He says, I'd like to know whether niqab is obligatory or not. Because I've seen so many uh, uh, talks, I've seen the dispute among scholars, and it's confusing her. Why aren't the scholars agreeing on such an important issue? First of all, a lot of the things in Islam are an issue of dispute. Some of them are so clear that such a dispute is not even looked at. And some are 50-50. And this is part of the testing as Muslims we get in this world. And this is why Allah says, whenever you dispute over an issue, refer back to the Quran and to the Sunnah. We go to Surah Al-Ahzab, chapter 33. And we see that Allah mentioned in two ayahs, chapter, uh, ayah 53, in Ayah 59. Ayah 53 is addressing the companions, may Allah be pleased with them, when they are seeking some utensils from the wives of the Prophet And Allah tells us that when you ever, whenever you request something of such a nature, then do this from behind a hijab, from behind a visor. And the consensus let me rephrase, the consensus, or re reiterate, not rephrase, the consensus of all scholars that the hijab of the mothers of the believers, the wives of the Prophet ﷺ, is to cover their face. No doubt, no doubt at all. Ayah 53, chapter 33, emphasizes on this point. Very well. When you move to Ayah 59, Allah is addressing his messenger alayhi salatu wasalam, telling him to instruct your wives, your daughters, and the women of all the believers, yani the rest of the human race, women-wise, to do what? To lower their jilbabs so that they are not recognized and hence harassed. Now, let us not go into dispute whether this is to not be recognized or to be recognized. Let's not look into this. The ayah says, order them and instruct them to lower their garments or their jilbab. We ask you, who is the first category? The answer, the wives of the Prophet ﷺ. Allah is ordering them to lower their jilbab. How do the women of the Prophet Hashem lower their jilbab, the consensus of scholars say, by covering their face. This answers the question of how do the daughters of the Prophet Hashem and the believing women of the, uh, uh, the Ummah cover their face? Because they are combined in the same ayah. Ulli azwajik, tell your wives, wa banatik, your daughters, wa nisa'il mu'mineen. All these three are instructed to do the same action, and that is to lower their jilbab. And Ayah 53 tells us that lowering such a jilbab is to have the hijab, which is covering the face, which is what you have asked about, which is the niqab. And this is what I believe. Among other evidences in the Quran and the Sunnah, that a woman must cover her face. It's the most beautiful thing in a woman. When you want to get married, if they tell, not you of course, when a man wants to get married, and they tell him, MashaAllah, this uh, uh, lady has the figure of a beauty queen, but her face is like a monkey. Nobody would look at her. But if they told him that she's a little bit overweight, she's too skinny, she's a little bit short, she's a little bit tall, but she has the face of a, 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 a very beautiful woman. A face that would make you relax when you look at her in the morning when you wake up. There is a, po a probability that they would accept. And this what, uh, is what attracts men most, the face. So this is what lures men to look. And this is why it is best. And the sunnah is to cover.